Looking for a way to assign a unique ID to your Airtable records? This might be because you're using Airtable as a product catalog and you'd like each of your products to have their own custom code. Or perhaps you're using Airtable to keep track of user feedback and you want to assign each insight a different ID. Whatever your workflow demands, Airtable can help you achieve it. Let's use this furniture company's product catalog as an example. As you can see, this base is being used to keep track of a furniture company's inventory. If we wanted to easily assign each item in the inventory a unique number, we could create a new auto number field. Auto number fields assign each record in your base a different automatically incremented number. It's important to note that this isn't meant to count your items. For example, if one of these items is deleted from your base, the remaining items will not be renumbered. Auto number fields are ideal for creating very simple unique IDs for your records. If you'd prefer a more complex ID, then try creating a new formula and use the record ID function. This will produce a longer, more intricate code unique to each of your records. Essentially, this function is just revealing the ID that Airtable automatically generates and assigns to each record in your base. And in this case, it's also a great way to identify your information. You can also customize your IDs by integrating information from specific fields in your table. Let's say we want the unique code to incorporate certain details about the piece of furniture, like its type, material, and color. We can use the left function to command Airtable to look at the type field and pull in only the first letter. Now we can use the concatenate function to pull the first letters of the other two inputs and combine all three together. Finally, let's extend our concatenate function to include a dash and the record ID. Now we have a unique ID that can be used to reference each item, and anyone viewing the ID will also be able to quickly discern certain important details about it. Now that you know some basics, try these techniques in your own Airtable base. And remember, if you ever need a little more help, don't hesitate to check out our support documents, post in our community forum, or just drop us a line directly. Thanks for watching.